Yeah, if, if you look at my resume, my first job is being an NFL quarterback. What's up everyone? This is Tua Tungvaluwa and this is how I spent and saved my first million dollars. I grew up in Hawaii, so I, I grew up in a town called Ever Beach. We grew up in a three bedroom, two bath house. How did you kind of get interested in football? I think football has always been something that I've always loved. My parents tried to get me to play other sports such as baseball and basketball, but for me, it just wasn't the same. With, with baseball, my parents really wanted me to play it because I was a lefty, but I just didn't think it was, it was exciting. It just didn't give me like an adrenaline rush or a thrill. So I just stuck to football and I never played anything else. Everyone's gonna have a dream when, when they're a kid. You know, they're gonna aspire to be an NBA basketball player, a major league baseball player, an NFL superstar. I think you take it little by little. I never thought I'd get the opportunity to get recruited by big, big time colleges. And then you get to college. Now the next step is, do I have what it takes to get to the NFL? You know, so it's crazy because my, my dream is, is now my reality. So it's, it's pretty awesome, it's pretty cool. Yeah, my first job I've ever had was um, my chores, and that was it. I never worked any any other job aside from my chores. So, <laughs> if you look at my resume, you know my my first job is being an NFL quarterback. You don't really get too many you know guys from Hawaii that are skill players, you know, in the NFL. They're more so on the offensive lineman or the defensive side of the ball. So to be one of the few that is a quarterback from Hawaii and to be able to represent our families from Hawaii and, and the state of Hawaii, you know, I, I think that's something that's really cool. When, when I got drafted, well, when I got called um, by the GM, by Chris Greer, I felt like it was a sigh of, of relief, all the, the hard work that my parents have helped me, you know, get through all these years, the hard work that I, I put in finally paid off. It's one of those nights you'll, you'll never forget, um, and it's one of those moments you'll never forget, too. Do you remember what the process was like when you were gonna get your deal, your rookie contract? Yeah, so it was a long process, but uh, thank, thank the good Lord above, I had my parents to help me through that process. So my parents helped me find my contract agent, and then from there did the interview process with you know financial advisors. And then we got guys that are helping me with my foundation. And so that process really couldn't have been done without my parents interviewing and then breaking it down to two people, then me being able to go in and, and interview those businesses. So I'm gonna be living off of my, my marketing money, so the endorsement money that I get, and then everything else is just put to the side. So, you know, the money that I'm making from my contract, that's, that's put to the side, so none of that's gonna be seen. It's really me on the app, you know, how much money I wanna transfer every month into my savings, you know, and then I have, you know, spending account, and at the end of every month, my financial advisors give me a breakdown on what I spent, um, how much I spent this month, and really, that's, that's, that's all it is. So do you remember how much your deal was worth total? I don't really remember the total amount of my contract, but you can see it right here. All right, so we talked about how I saved my money. Now, let's talk about how I spent the money. You guys might have seen this on my social media, but the first thing that I bought was a car. I bought a car from my mom. It was a 2020 Escalade. I actually trusted my marketing guys to help me with that. And so literally on Mother's Day, I ended up calling my marketing team and asked them if they could help me get a car. And you know, my mom was very happy. She, she was excited to get the car. She always wanted a, a really nice and big family car. And so uh, that's why I got her that car. So car for mom, 80,000. So after I got my mom a car, I ended up getting myself two cars. I ended up getting a Ford Flex and then a BMW i The reason behind me getting two cars is one, so when my parents or my family members come, you know, they can use one of those cars. And then the other one I got because I knew no one else could get down, you know, that low in the car. 
And so I, I knew no one else would, would want to drive it. The Ford Flex, I'd like to say, was about 40. It was about 40. 40,000. There you go. And then the BMW was about the same as Mom's Escalade. You know, I'm, I'm one of those guys, I just look at what I, whatever I have in my closet and, and I'm gonna wear it. Um, but what helps, you know, is being endorsed. And so being able to have them send over things and, you know, wear them, use them even the, the shoes and flip-flops. It helps save me money at the same time because I don't go out shopping anyways. So I upgraded my clothing, but uh, luckily everything's free, so. I'm not a big jewelry fan, but um, I, I got an Apple Watch. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so I, for jewelry, I ended up getting my dad a watch, one of the Rolex watches. It was one of their uh, classic signature watches. That was some, that was some money. And then um, I ended up getting myself some earrings. I don't know what, what I was thinking when I, I, I bought these earrings. I don't know, maybe because it was real, but I think regardless, I, I, I could have just went to any store and bought earrings and people would have thought they were real anyway. So bad, bad investment. You guys should put that, like when I say the bad investment, you guys should put the boo thing in the background. Watch for dad, 10K. Earrings and Apple Watch, 4,400. When you got drafted, obviously it's a big celebration. You know, you're going to the NFL. Did you take everyone out to dinner? Like, was there a rookie dinner with your teammates? Never done anything except get the quarterback room snacks. So whatever they wanted, I, I had to do. I think that's what all the rookies had to do. They had to get whatever their room wanted. <laughs> so that's what we had to do. We had some pretty unique choices. You know, there, there was gum, there was Twizzlers, Mountain Dew, pistachios, there was trail mix, candy, Costco bill. You get snacks for the guys about $200. Any other big purchases you can remember? Yeah, I ended up buying a house. This is where we're at. <laughs> we're doing this at my house. Really, the, the biggest thing that I wanted in a house that I was looking for was, was yard. Because if a pandemic ended up happening again where we couldn't go to a park or you couldn't go to a gym, I'd just be able to go out to the backyard and just be able to do my footwork, get my throwing in, just be able to have everything here. And then after that, I can just, you know, jump in the pool, come back in the house, watch TV and, and just enjoy, you know, when my family ends up coming. It'll be a nice, nice place for them to, to kind of hang out and relax before game days. And then I also ended up getting gym equipment for my garage. Uh, it was about 30, I would say it's about 30. So gym equipment, 30 grand. So I don't have enough money to show here, but this represents one and a half of, of the house. So aside from what I've spent and what I've saved, um, I'm involved also in a charitable foundation. So I teamed up with, with Fox Sports. In conjunction with my documentary, they are willing to donate $111,111 to Boys and Girls Club of my hometown, which is Ever Beach in Alabama, as well as here in Miami. And that's in representation of my jersey number. And so I, I think that's something that's really cool. And it's something that I've always wanted to do as well, to be able to give back to my community, Alabama, where I played at, and also where I'm at now. Do you feel like happy with what you spent it on? Um, I, I would say I'm happy with what I spent it on. It wasn't more so me when I thought of the purchases. I thought of everyone that would be involved in the purchase as well, except maybe one of them, which was getting the I-8. But other than that, I got everything knowing that, you know, if I have family members coming over to the house, you know, they all have a place to sleep, you know, they have a place to stay, they'll be comfortable and then they'll have a car to drive, uh, things of that nature, so. What does it mean to you to be able to take care of your family? Oh, I think that's everything. That's everything. Being able to see my parents happy. 
I think that's that's probably the most important thing to me. Seeing them enjoy the fruits of their labor with what they've instilled in me and my siblings. It's just a joy to, to be able to see them kind of take it easy, you know, relax now and let us, you know, their kids kind of work to help them out. I can't really say, you know, save your money. You're gonna do whatever you want with your money, you know, to whoever I'm speaking to. But like everyone says, be smart with your money, but you know, have fun at the same time. So, you know, enjoy, but also be smart with your money. We've come to the end. Just like to thank you guys for listening to how I save and also how I spend my money. You know, I, I, I gotta get back to work, so. Um, I'll see you guys on the football field.